Hey there crypto enthusiasts and market observers, welcome or welcome back to Key to Crypto or KTC. In today's video we'll be talking about the top 4 coins that we'll be betting on. These coins have the most potential in the market right now, so without further ado let's discover them together. Gather round because we're diving into the heart of the crypto storm, and if you play your cards right, you're about to ride the biggest wave of this coming bull cycle straight to the shores of success. It's like being in crypto before it was cool, and let me tell you, this cycle is going to be a game changer. In less than 150 days, Bitcoin's next halving is on the horizon, and history tells us that new all-time highs are on the way. Think back to 2017. It took just nine months for Bitcoin to skyrocket from $1,000 to $20,000. That was almost two halvings ago, and things are different now. Back then, the block subsidy was 12.5 Bitcoin, and today, it's significantly less. Plus, the crypto landscape has evolved. We've got BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF looming on the horizon, with Bloomberg analysts putting their reputation on the line, claiming a 90% chance of approval by January 10th. It's like the stars aligning, and this cycle is set to be a wild ride. But that's not all. The plot thickens, there's a strategic chess game happening, Binance strategically sidelined to give Coinbase the limelight. Why? Because Coinbase is the custodian for BlackRock, Fidelity, and Vanguard. And guess what? BlackRock and Vanguard own a significant chunk of Coinbase. It's a master plan, and we're just pawns on the board. Gary Gensler, the maestro orchestrating this symphony, has all his chips with Vanguard, the same company that's intertwined with the industry's future moves. Now, imagine this. BlackRock's Ethereum ETF is closer than you think, and Canada's history tells us that Ethereum ETFs won't lag far behind Bitcoin. Sure, they might face rejection a couple of times, but the path is clear, especially after Bitcoin won the Grayscale versus SEC case. This is the revolution we've been waiting for, and the same folks suppressing Bitcoin's price today will be cheerleading it to $100,000 with whispers of half a million and a million on their lips. Buckle up, strap in, smash that like button. We're about to talk about the crypto roller coaster so you can educate your family this holiday season. Are you ready to risk it all and talk to grandma about Bitcoin and Ethereum? We haven't done it yet, but it's on the menu. Crypto is about more than just money. It's about freedom. So, as traffic jams and family gatherings loom, Make sure your loved ones know that you were in the trenches buying Bitcoin when it was under $30,000, and now you're on the brink of a crypto revolution. Let's spread the message of financial freedom this holidays. It's a feast worth sharing. Let's now dive into the fascinating world of altcoins because, hey, we believe in giving people a large degree of freedom to exercise their own thinking and choices. Today, We've got some top-notch altcoins that make for easy conversation starters at your holiday feasts with friends and family. First up, Avalanche. This powerhouse has seen an incredible growth spurt of over 131% in the past 30 days. What's causing this surge, you ask? Well, buckle up. Institutional adoption, my friends. Big players like Citigroup and JP Morgan are diving into Avalanche with their subnets. Misari Crypto, the research analytics firm, even predicts that Avalanche is set to lead the charge for legacy financial companies venturing into the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Launched with a bang in September 2020, Avalanche boasts a reputation for its high-speed, scalable, and decentralized network. At the core of Avalanche lies a unique consensus mechanism known as Avalanche Consensus. It's a leaderless and remarkably efficient protocol that swiftly and securely achieves consensus by continuously sampling the opinions of a vast number of nodes on the network. Designed for the fast lane, Avalanche can process thousands of transactions per second, TPS. This feature positions it as the go-to platform for applications that demand swift and efficient transactions, including decentralized finance, DeFi, and gaming. Avalanche empowers users to create custom blockchain networks called subnets. These subnets are tailor-made for specific use cases, offering developers the flexibility to design their consensus mechanisms, token standards, and governance structures. Bridging the blockchain gap is a top priority for Avalanche. Its X-Chain and C-Chain facilitate interoperability, 
allowing for the exchange of assets and smart contracts between Avalanche and other blockchains such as Ethereum. Enter the world of smart contracts with Avalanche's contract chain, C-Chain, providing a space for developers to build decentralized applications, dApps, on the platform. Behind the scenes, Avalanche is crafted by Ava Labs, a team of blockchain maestros led by Emin Gunsirer, a prominent figure in the blockchain space. Avalanche has become a hotbed for DeFi projects due to its high throughput and low transaction fees. Notable projects like Pangolin and Benki have established their DeFi platforms on Avalanche. Real-world assets like real estate and art find their way onto the blockchain through Avalanche, enabling global tradability and accessibility. The Avalanche bridge facilitates seamless asset swaps between different blockchains, promoting cross-chain liquidity and interoperability. Avalanche hosts a variety of NFT projects, from art to gaming, leveraging its platform for the creation and trading of unique digital assets. Developers have a playground on Avalanche, building decentralized exchanges, lending platforms, gaming applications, and more. Now let's talk numbers. In the glory days of November 2021, AVAX soared to $147 during the crypto summer. However, the crypto winter cast a shadow, and Avalanche experienced a downward trend, currently hovering around $8. My technical analysis reveals a complex graph marked by a primary and secondary bearish direction. Overcoming these challenges, particularly the secondary bearish guideline, is crucial. And there's more. Tech firm Republic is hitching a ride on Avalanche for profit-sharing investment. They're issuing a blockchain-based investment note on Avalanche, automatically distributing profits to holders' wallets. It's like crypto dividends for the win. Republic boasting over 3 million investors and $2. 6 billion deployed across ventures like Avalanche Dapp Radar and Dapper Labs chose Avalanche for its ambition to reach a broad audience of Web3 native investors. A big win indeed. Now let's talk Cardano. The roadmap for 2024 is nothing short of exciting. Drumroll please. In Q1, the Chang hard fork is coming our way. Cardano's strength lies in its high decentralization, with features like Aurora Borealis, proof of stake, and 1,300 active pools with 1.3 million ADA stakers. What sets Cardano apart is its unique approach. Doing its own thing, forming strategic partnerships, and thriving on decentralized power. So what's the vision for Cardano in the next few years? The Cardano Assets and Settlement Layer, KSL, aims to be the foundation of decentralization in the crypto space. How high can Cardano go? To the moon, my friends. Solana has been making waves lately, catching the attention of none other than Kathy Wood, who gave it a positive nod. Wood highlighted Solana's stellar adoption rates, coupled with its cost-effectiveness and lightning-fast transaction speeds, showcasing the substantial utility it offers to end users. Addressing previous downtime concerns, Solana seems to have tackled those issues, with a clear shift in user preferences favoring speed and cost-effectiveness, propelling the network's outstanding performance. Avalanche is riding a similar wave of approval, receiving endorsements from reputable players like JP Morgan Chase, Apollo Global, Layer Zero Labs, and Avalanche. Their collaborative efforts aim to revolutionize the asset and wealth management industry through Project Guardian. Leveraging Avalanche's subnets, customized blockchains addressing specific needs. This initiative streamlines subscriptions and redemptions for funds offered by Wisdom Tree Prime, underscoring the transformative impact blockchain networks can have on traditional finance. Kronos continues its impressive momentum from last week spurred by the catalyst of a $100 million accelerator program launched in September. The aspiration for Kronos is to forge partnerships akin to Avalanche, fortifying its crypto payments network through collaborations with key players like Crypto.com. Can this momentum persist? In our view, crypto networks like Solana, Avalanche, and Kronos are delivering the essential end market utility required for investors to maintain a positive outlook on the altcoin space. For these utility-driven projects to unlock value through rising token prices, sustained improvements in adoption and utilization metrics are crucial. Recent strong metrics across these networks suggest investors are adopting a more fundamentals-first approach in valuing these ecosystems. The rally in 2023 has been remarkable considering the bearish sentiment in the previous year and the returns of altcoins in 2022. Yet, as investors anticipate lower interest rates, there's a possibility that the 2020 and 2021 investment environment could make a comeback sooner than expected. 
As always, before diving into Solana or any crypto investment, it's prudent to weigh your options and consider the broader market landscape. The crypto space is dynamic, and strategic decisions can be the key to navigating the ever-evolving landscape successfully. The end of this year is turning out to be fantastic, and 2024 is gearing up to be even better. That's it for now. If you liked today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, and remember the future of finance is here with KTC.